Hi, welcome to the fifth session on digital principles and system design. In this video lecture, we will discuss about the representation for negative numbers in computers. Basically, we have three different representations. One is the signed magnitude notation, wherein we have a separate bit representing the sign. Say for example, 0 will represent the positive numbers and 1 will represent a negative number. And the sign bit is available in the most significant bit. Let's try and understand what is most significant bit. Suppose we both are going for shopping and I am saying you spend for me and later I will settle the amount. And after the shopping you are saying I am supposed to give you 1229 rupees. And when I am returning the money, instead of 1229 rupees, suppose if I give you only 1220 rupees, maybe that you will forgive me for that 9 rupees. But rather if I give only 229 rupees and ask you to forgive that 1000 rupees, you might not let it go. Because although the value 1 is less in magnitude, position where it is sitting has much higher weightage. So in the earlier case, what did I do? I just made the 9 0. Instead of 1000 to 29, I made 9 to 0. But this is okay for us because the 9 is available in the units position. But although 1 is less in magnitude, it has much higher weightage. So I cannot make this 1 to 0. So the, this is the importance of the significance. So the significance means importance, right? So the most significant bit will be available in the leftmost position and the least significant bit will be available in the rightmost position. So in the earlier case, what did I do? I made the least significant bit that is instead of 1000 to 29, I made this 9 to 0 and give you only 1000 to 20. This is okay for us because the 9 although it has higher magnitude, its position is only units. So it is okay for us. The other case is I made the 1 0 instead of 1000 to 29, I am simply giving you only 229. Although this 1 is less in magnitude. Since its position is in the thousands, we cannot make it happen. So, this is the meaning of most significant. Significant means importance. So, I cannot have any change. I cannot allow any change in the most significant bit which is available in the leftmost position. And the least significant bit will be available in the rightmost position. And the least significant bit will be available in the rightmost position. So, let's go back and see. I am giving this sign bit a position in the most significant bit. That is, if the number will start with the sign bit and rest of the bits will represent the magnitude. Say for example, for plus 9, since the sign is positive, I have the sign bit as 0 and the magnitude is 1001. And for minus 9, the sign bit is 1. The magnitude is same as that of the uh, positive 9, okay, 1001. This way of representing the negative numbers has a disadvantage. Suppose we are performing arithmetic with this representation. And I am performing, say for example, minus 8, minus 2. Here we are not performing subtraction, but instead this is addition. I have to add the magnitude of 8 and the magnitude of 2 and make the sign bit to be negative. Rather, if it is like minus 8 plus 2, here we are attempting subtraction. So, whenever we are performing arithmetics, when the numbers are represented with sign magnitude, we have to check whether one number is positive and another number is negative to perform subtraction or if both the numbers are sharing same signs so that we can perform addition and so on. So we will need extra logic to perform all these operations. So instead we have alternative for this which is the complement notation. 
In complement notation, we have two choices. One is the radix complement or the R's complement. The second choice is the diminished radix complement or R minus 1's complement. Let's look at what is diminished radix complement. Given a number n in a number system with radix R and this number capital N has small n digits. Then we can compute R minus 1's complement using the formula R power N minus 1 minus N, capital N. So let's take an example. Suppose if we are considering 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 in decimal number system. So what is R minus 1's complement here? R is 10 since it is de decimal number system. So, R minus 1 will be 9's complement. We are trying to compute the 9's complement of 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, capital N is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Since there are 5 digits, small n is 5. So, R power small n minus 1 minus capital N is 10 power 5 minus 1 minus 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So, 10 power 5 will be 1 followed by 5 zeros. When you subtract 1 from this number, you will get 5 nines. So, it is easy for us to subtract this number from this one. Okay, Every digit we have to subtract from 9 and write the result. That is the nines complement of this number. Let's take another example wherein the number is in binary number system. Now, capital N is 10110010. There are 7 bits here, so small n is 7 and since this number is in binary number system, R is 2. So, we are computing actually 1's complement. Since R minus 1 is 2 minus 1, it is 1's complement. So, when you have 2 power 7, again we have 1 followed by 7 zeros. But this number is actually in binary number system, minus 1 and the actual number. So, when you subtract 1 from this 1 followed by 7 zeros, you will get 6 ones. So, it is easy for us to subtract this number from this one because you have to subtract every bit from 1. So, 1 minus 0 is 1, 1 minus 1 is 0. So, only these two combinations we will get. But do we, sub, do we need to subtract every bit like this? That is not necessary. We have a shortcut. Given the number n, I can simply flip individual bits from 0 to 1 and 1 to 0. For example, see here, here the number given number n is 1 0 1 1 0 1 0. So, I have to flip this 0 to 1 and 1 to 0, 0 to 1 and so on. So, the result of 1's complement for this n will be like 0 1 0 0 1 0 1. Next, we will look at the radix complement. So, given the number n in the number system with radix r and suppose the capital N has small n digits, the r's complement can be computed using r power small n minus capital N. This we can rewrite using r minus 1's complement or the diminished radix complement. I can subtract 1 and add 1. So, I get r power n minus 1 minus capital N plus 1. So, this plus 1 and this minus 1 cancels and we get r power n minus n. So, we can obtain r's complement from r minus 1's complement plus 1. And this R's complement is defined only for N not equal to 0. If N is equal to 0, R's complement is 0. So, let's take an example. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 in decimal number system. So, R's complement will be tens complement. So, N is 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Small N is I have 5 digits. R is 10. So, I, we can compute n's com n minus 1's complement and add 1 or we can directly subtract from r power n the capital n so since subtracting the number from every digit from 9 is easy we will do this way that is we will compute r minus 1's complement and then add 1 
so it is uh, 10 power 5 minus 1 minus this number plus 1 so this is same as that of the 9's complement and finally we add the result of 9's complement with 1 to get 4 5 6 7 9 is this the way we need to do this not necessarily what we can do is that as a shortcut we can subtract the last digit of n from 10 and remaining digits from 9. I need not compute uh, you know subtracting every digit from 9 and then add 1. Instead we can subtract the least significant digit from 10 and then rest of the digits from 9. But suppose if the least significant digit is 0 then we will write the 0 as it is and the next significant bit we will subtract from 10 and rest of the digits will subtract from 9. We will take an example from binary number system. Uh, suppose this is our n and there are 7 bits in it. So small n is 7, radix is 2. So we can find the 1's complement which is easy. We can just flip the bits. So 1 to 0, 0 to 1. So the 1's complement will be 0, 1, double 0 and 1, 0, 1 plus 1. So we have to add this one. 1 plus 1, 1, 0. We write 0, carry 1. 1 plus 0 is 1 and so on. So should I do this addition? Not necessary. Again we have a shortcut. So given the number in binary number system, we go from right to left. Okay, All the zeros in the rightmost end, we write it as such till the first one from the right. So till this one zero, I will write it as such. Rest of the bits we can simply flip. So I will get it like 0, 1, 0, 0. This is 1, 1, 0. So that will be the 2's complement. Next we will have a comparison of all the three representations that we have seen. So this is the decimal numbers from plus 7 to minus 8. And we have 2's complement, signed 2's complement. These are all signed numbers, right? I have positive sign numbers and negative sign numbers. Uh, this is uh, signed 2's complement representation, signed 1's complement representation and signed magnitude representation. So how do we represent 7? Suppose if I use 4 bits, the most sig significant bit will be sign bit. Since it is plus 7, the sign bit will be 0 and then we will have 111 1, 1, which is the magnitude of 7. If I take the minus 7, I will have the same magnitude 111, 1, 1, but the sign bit will be 1. Similarly, the other numbers will also follow the same thing. Say for example, if it is plus 4, it is 0, 1, double 0. So minus 4 will be double 1, double 0. If you can check, it is double 1, double 0. And here, zero positive 0 will be 0, 0, 0, 0. And the negative 0 will be like sign bit is 1 and 0 will represent, 3 zeros will represent the magnitude. So there are two representation for zeros. If you take the 1's complement, okay, the positive numbers are same as that of the sign magnitude representation. And zeros, you have again two representation. Positive 0 is all zeros. And negative 0 is 1's complement of this one. So, we will have all these numbers flipped. So, all zeros flip to all 1's. Similarly, minus 1 will be the flipping of all the bits in positive 1. So, we will have 3 1's followed by a 0. So, that will be the negative 1 in 1's complement. And in 2's complement, the positive numbers will be same as that of the other two representations. Since the 2's complement is computable only for non-zero elements, we have only one representation for zero. We don't have multiple representation as in 1's complement or sign magnitude in 2's complement. This gives us one more choice that we can represent using 2's complement which is minus 8 also. 
So here also we obtain the same way. Okay. Suppose if I wanted to get the representation of minus 1, I have to find the 2's complement of positive 1. So this 1 will be written as such. These 3 zeros will be flipped to 1's. So I get 4 1's here. And suppose for minus 2, if I get the 2's complement, this 1 0, I will write it as such. And these 2 zeros we will flip them to 1's. So we will get 3 1's and zeros. From this table, we can see that using 2's complement representation, we can represent totally 8 negative numbers and 8 positive numbers totaling to 16 numbers using 4 bits. Whereas in 1's complement and sign magnitude representation, we can represent only 15 numbers. So the preferred way of representing the negative numbers is using the 2's complement notation. In the next video clip, we will see how to perform subtraction using the complements. And thank you for watching.